Let's learn how to use geometric matching to find a reference feature that can be used to define a local coordinate system. I'm interested in finding a reference feature that's based on this text phrase here, peer quality, at the top. Look under the machine vision group and look for geometric matching. And this throws an error. It says we need to be using a grayscale image. Let's convert that to grayscale by coming back to color and extract the luminance plane. This is our standard method for getting a grayscale image from color. Give that step a name, convert to grayscale. Let's come back to the machine vision group again. Start up geometric matching and then select new template. I'll draw a region of interest around this phrase. And I want to be able to include that mountain peak because I'll be using that as part of the match. Okay, this looks pretty good. Click Next. Here we see the automatically extracted contours. We have a little bit of the mountain peak and then we also have a contour around each letter. Now you can experiment with some of these curve parameters. The extraction mode has either normal or uniform regions. Uniform regions works best when you have the background and the foreground objects are more or less uh, similar or constant gray, gray scales. So I'll stick with normal in this case. You can also uh, experiment with the edge filter size that might give you a little bit of a difference appearance in terms of how the contours are extracted. You can use the minimum length to control which contours are uh, retained and which ones are discarded. Experiment with some different options here. At 75, it looks like we get the U, but not some of the other letters. And at the original value of 25, then we pick up all of the letters. Again, you just experiment with some of these values and see if you can get the contours set up to your satisfaction. If necessary, if this seems helpful, you can also draw some regions to ignore. So I think I will delete that one that's in the center. And let's see what we have. This looks, this looks pretty good. I have a closed contour around each letter and then a closed contour around that peak. Because this is such a high contrast feature compared to the shadow, I think I'll go ahead and keep that as a defining aspect of what this little mountain peak looks like. All right, let's hit next a couple times, and now we need to place the coordinate system. You can simply click and drag and move that around to whatever seems to make the most sense for your application. I'm going to choose right at the peak of that little mountain top there. At this point, it's saving away the template as a PNG image and all of the additional information related to the placement of the coordinate system and so forth is stored as comments inside that image. At any time, if you need to change something, simply say edit template again. And if you have a completely different reference you'd like to work with, you can load that from a file directly. Now here's something I forgot to do. Instead of just accepting the generic name for this step, go back and give that a more meaningful name. In this case, find the reference feature. That way, subsequent processing will make it easier to search for the results from that step. All right, another settings tab that I'd like to show you is the minimum score right here. It's a presently defaulting to a value of 800. You can also choose whether or not to look for rotated features, which I do want to look for, but I know there's only one feature in there, so there's no reason to search for occluded features. Remove all of those options that are unnecessary, and you'll save a lot of CPU time doing the search. All right, now I can come back and choose Set Coordinate System. And I will call this step set the local coordinate system. And this is where the 
matching was done in the previous step. So I gave it that name, find reference feature. So I can select that as my origin. Then you have all these different options. And in particular, we want to allow for horizontal, vertical, and angular rotation. So basically the image can be presented in any arbitrary location. And then the searching will be able to deal with the fact that it has rotated, and then the coordinate system will also likewise rotate as well.